Hi everyone, I just wanted to go through quickly with you how I construct a blog post. Um, I started off with this heading here. It has been said before, but it's still true, a book can change one's life. Now I like that, I'm passionate about books and reading, so I want to turn that into a blog post. So the first thing I've done is I've created a title. And, I created, and it says here, can sharing a book with your grandchildren change their life? This blog post is for a blog um, that primarily looks at sharing books and how that can benefit uh, grandparents and grandchildren. So let's get started. I'm just going to type as I go. I'm trying to make this nice and quick, but I just want to point out a few things. The first thing you probably won't have noticed is, I'll just show you here, that there are no spaces, there are no line spaces. I find it much easier to click here. I have a no space default blog post setting on my Word, um, my Word program here. Um, it just makes it easy to cut and paste and that's something I want to look at a bit later on too. So can sharing a book with your grandchildren change their lives? So I'm going to use this line. It's going to be my next line. It's been said before but still true, a book can change one's life. So is this true? Do my do the readers of this blog believe that? Um, so let's say, do you think this is do you think this is true? If if so, oops, if so, why? <laughs> there are many books available. Oops, help if I can spell, which you can share with you and there are many books available which you can share with your grandchildren um, they cover a wide range of topics Oops. ideas and um, genres we'll say genres I think we've got a pretty sophisticated audience here can just quickly control C Now, the types of books you choose will depend upon the age of your grandchild and what's his or her particular interests. Of course, can, and we go back to the title, but can sharing a book change their lives okay so what we're going to do now is, is try and think of some some subheadings or subtitles we can use I'm just going to note down here some some ideas so I'm going to write how can the book change um, perhaps when and we might want to look to what extent can a book change your life. So there are my little ideas. I'm going to move up how. I'm going to work on that. How can a book change a child's life? Let's not forget these books. Uh, these books. Sorry, these blog posts are dedicated and written particularly for grandparents. Now you've noticed I've bold that and I'm going to bold the heading here, the title. There, that is to remind me when I post it into WordPress um, to actually make those into H1 and H2, heading one and heading two formats. So let's keep going. How can a book change a child's life? Hmm. So um, over the course of your own life, you, oops, you would have read, uh, let's say, hundreds. Oops, spell probably hundreds, a bit nervous, perhaps thousands of books. But how many of them changed your life? Um, I would say hazard, I guess, just to say that most have in one way or another. And again, I spelled it wrong. <laughs> Even the short, the 
the shortest tail has probably had an impact on your life in some small way. Now, control S, we'll just save that quickly. So I just want to say here, um, something universal about books. Yeah. So there is something special about the way stories oops, fit, um, fit our beliefs and experiences. Um, so this differs from, oops, again, from person to person. Of course, oops, again, but it is none nonetheless an important aspect of stories. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm just, I'm going to go again, control S to save. I'm just going to do a little bit of a word count. Only the stuff that I've done. I'm at 168 words um, for just this short part. So I've really only got another 150 to go. So I'm already at the halfway mark. I'm actually also going to make it a little bit bigger because I'm on the tiny laptop and it's all very small. <laughs> now the next thing, what I want to do now is because I'm sort of at that halfway mark, obviously you'll know in your own writing when you start, you can often go on one tangent or another. I want to make sure I keep focus. So can sharing a book with your grandchildren change your life? What I do now is I quickly reread over what I've done. So just, I've just quickly glanced through it. I've noticed there's a mistake here. Other the course, no, it's supposed to be over. So one of the other reasons I really like going back and reading through is pick up little mistakes like that. I'll just change that quickly. So after reading through and correcting those errors, what I'm going to do is I've decided I'm not going to go to win. I'm going to look at to what extent do books change our lives? I might actually change that a bit later. Again, I put it in bold to remind myself that it's got to be a H2 uh, format. Sorry, it's a H2. So let's have a look at this. To what extent do books change our lives? I'm, I think you're all probably thinking to yourselves, oh, I remember reading and that sort of thing. Um, so if if we stop to consider how stories oops, sorry, written by others can impact oops, the way we think, the extent to which books can change our lives and you'll notice I've repeated the subheading there, is quite wide. <laughs> so again, coming back to the fact that we're speaking to grandparents who are interested in sharing books with their grandchildren, I'm going to go off on a little bit of a tangent and try and bring the whole short blog post together. So what books do you, oops, do you read as a child that made, made you think or behave differently? Uh, were they, they books about say, faraway places? Strange, oops, strange, <laughs> just had a little bit of a formatting hiccup, so I picked it up. Were they books about faraway places, strange people, or magical lands? Ten. 
happy in you remember how they changed let's say what's it changed this let's say altered your ideas or even your opinions about the world about oh no what I might say is about your world and your place in in your world. Oops. So we're just about to sum up, so let's do a word count. And we have 251 words. So we've reached out the lower end of our goal. Now we're going to, again, encapsulate the idea that we're trying to get across and um, finish off quite nicely. So we've said, we've ended with, can you remember how they altered your ideas or even your opinions about your world and your place in the world? Again, is this something you want your grandchildren to experience? So another little subheading, how can you encourage your grandchildren to read more read more books and again i'm just going to highlight that and draw s for save um, in previous posts we have covered which we have many ways you can many ways you can use uh, you can put into place that will inspire your grandchildren to read more. Just bring that down there. Now what I will do is I will highlight, or I'll bold, sorry, in previous posts. And again, that's a reminder to me to put an internal link back to one of those posts. If you want your grandchildren with the wonders and excitement that you did I'll say while while reading book then it is up to you oops be too fast up to you to provide them with books and reading material That. So, so far we've done quite well. We're over our word count. So again, we just, I just need to read back and go through and check that it's all okay and I'm still on track. So now I'm just going to add another couple of sentences maybe on the end here. Um, so go, oops, go to your public library, your local bookstore, and of course, your favourite online book retailer, and see what books are available. You can even share these no, I don't like that. Let's try something else. Um, sharing these books will have a significant and important. Oops, I want a comma there. Impact on the lives of oops, your grandchildren. It is up to you to. We'll say take the initiative, Oops, initiative, and get started. Remember, there is no, whoops, no time, whoops again, no time like the present. And I might actually end with that. This is a series of blog posts, so it's not so much a standalone, but more of one that supports the other. So I'm going to, sh sh uh, sh uh, I'm going to save it. I'm going to reduce it down so I can see what the whole, I'd like to look visually at what the post looked like. 
I'll read through it again and then in our next video we're going to have a look to see how I am going to cut and paste and format it in a WordPress dashboard.